The one word we would describe our culture is charismatic, hands down. Generous. And I, I had a unique experience this past summer at a company event where employees wrote a poem about me as their leader, and that was one of the things they said, that I'm generous to a fault. Your culture has to be resilient no matter what faces you, whether it be industry changes, you got to adapt. Um, whether it be personnel issues, you got to adapt. Relentless. Innovative. It's intentional. Accountability. Passionate. Viral. Helpful. The one word I would use to describe Red Start Creative's culture is collaborative. We love teamwork. Everyone realizes our collaborative solution is going to be much better than individual efforts. We're committed to excellence in everything we do. We're far from perfect, but it flows out of our mission. So our culture is unique because we're millennial driven and therefore we are collaborative and we focus on teamwork. Each individual employee is a unique person that has unique skills, unique talents, and all of their input, whether they're an associate or they're an executive with the company, is valued and contributes to our success. The thing that makes our culture unique is that we keep things simple. Our mantra is be nice, be helpful, everything else will work itself out. So when you're a virtual team, you have to learn to work with one another and like each other in all different types of environments, whether it's phone calls, whether it's client meetings, or whether it's co-working days that we schedule regularly. Our secret sauce to building a successful culture flows out of something we call the Kelly Way, and it's 20 points um, that really flow out of our mission. So as a mission-driven organization that guides us in the way we uh, treat each other, our clients, our vendors, and interact in the community. It's all about working together cohesively as a team to produce quality results in serving people and improving the community. Understanding that everyone also has a life outside of the company that can impact their work inside of a company. So it's having that flexibility. It's understanding that there are people too. Uh, the secret sauce to our company culture is barbecue sauce. I'm just joking with you. Actually, it's our team and it's trusting them and empowering them to make decisions and work like they're the owners rather than us having to tell them what to do. I think the key secret sauce to define who you're gonna be in a company culture is to really understand who you are early, be consistent, stay focused on it, and don't lose sight of it. You know, for a long time we tried to look for ways to build the culture, teach the culture, train the culture, and when it comes down to it, the ones that get it and do it well are the ones that we made the right hire have your leadership lead not just production efforts, but really all the activities and games and committees that define that culture. Letting people do what they do best. Um, we embrace all ideas from anyone and we thrive on collaboration. So give somebody a job and let them do it. Don't micromanage it. You're gonna wanna have buy-in from everyone involved and make sure that there isn't a scenario or a situation where anyone is above or below anything. We're all in this together. I think our company's most coveted incentive, beyond stock options and bonuses uh, and pay time off and volunteer time, honestly, is our mission. We have employees that get excited when we get an email or a phone call from patients. We do gift cards and stuff like that, but the one that they want the most is like a simple acknowledgement and a pat on the back. It's like we're mom and dad and they just want us to tell them that we're proud of them. Our company's most coveted incentive, and I think if you asked everyone, would be our Wellness Wednesdays, where the entire team has an opportunity to go down to Under Armour's Performance Center for an hour um, to work out together. So we do an MVP award every year, and interestingly enough, it's all tied to culture. So the MVP winner is most often the one that seems to get the culture better than anybody else. The play-work balance, play being probably the predominant part of that, we have ping pong stations and video game rooms and a climbing wall and everyone cruises around on balance boards. It really is a, a play first, work close second culture. We have a fun place to work. People like and enjoy coming to work. Uh, we have Friday donuts, free lunches, we have a pool table, lots of fun things to do. So we really mix you know, that work hard, play hard. The incentive for Living Classroom staff is all about the smiles that we're able to help produce on the children and youth and adults that we serve every day. There are people who would trade money for time off. So as a company, we work extremely hard for the second half of the year so we can shut down between Christmas and New Year's. Best office prank that I know of at the company, well, I usually know all of them because usually I'm involved in all of them as well too. I think our theme song would be Fight Song. 
um, by Rachel Platten. Not to be too cliche, but that's the work that we do, providing a platform for cancer patients and survivors to take back their life. If I were to pick a theme song for my firm, it would be Ain't No Stopping Us Now. And the reason is because I'm a product of the 70s. <laughs> Well, I have to say that Respira's uh, favorite karaoke song would be a flash mob we did, which is Florida. It's going down for real. If we were going to do an all-expense paid trip, uh, what I'd like to do is take everybody on a road trip, Griswold style, across the country. Big caravan of Winnebago's and just see everything that the country has to offer. I think uh, most of our company would enjoy going to Austin, Texas. It's got a great mix. Uh, it's got a great vibe of music. Uh, our people love to do karaoke, dance, it would be awesome. Probably the most important piece of business jargon I think that we live by is be the hammer, not the nail. So solve the problem, don't be the problem. I guess the saying that I often use is, today is the tomorrow that you worried about yesterday. <laughs>